Hi, this instructional video is a continuation on graphing using the slope and the y-intercept, the slope-intercept form that is. And last time I explained the slope-intercept form in general is written as y is equal to mx plus b, where the letter b, the number that takes place of the b, is called the y-intercept. And for this instructional video, I sometimes refer to y-intercept as the, the starting point because it is from that y-intercept, usually when we graph, that we take this slope that is in rise over run form. Now, that was on the last instructional video, 705 GM. Now, here, here it looks a little peculiar, doesn't it? Something is missing. Here's a general form of the slope-intercept form. But here, it just says y is equal to 3. Does that mean there is no slope? There is a slope. You see, y is equal to 3 can be written as y is equal to, since you do not see an x, you're going to say 0x plus 3. That 3 is a constant. That is the b, the y-intercept. What was not shown was the x, because in this case, whatever you decide to substitute in for the x times the slope 0 will always become 0. Now, how do you graph this? Just like before, you identify the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept is 3. That's the starting point. So on the y, because it's called a y-intercept, you go to 3. 1, 2, 3. Bam! Now from there, what is the slope? What is the rise over run? Well, <laughs> if the x was 1, 1 times 0 is still 0. If x was 3, 1, 2, 3, if you put a 3 in there, 0 times 3 is 0. And plus 3 is still 3. So it turns out that a slope of 0, when the slope is 0, you have a horizontal line. It's like being on a ski lift. I mean, being on a side of a mountain to ride a ski. This is the positive slope. Uh-oh. You see, if you're standing on that, that's not good. Because you're going to slide that way. That's a positive slope. If you're on a slope that is negative, that's a good thing. Whee! You go down real fast. Ooh. But if you're on a horizontal line, you're not going anywhere. It's like, hey, what's going on? And you're not going anywhere because the slope is zero. There is a slope, but it's a zero. So... To make a long story short, if you see no x, then you're going to have a horizontal line. It's going to go to the y-axis at the 3 in this case. All right? Now, try this unique one and that one. Okay, in this case, again, something's missing. This time, we do have a slope. A number in front of the x, the coefficient, is a slope. That's the rise to over run, which is 5. But where is the y-intercept? Where is the letter B, huh? And if you don't see it, because it is zero. <laughs> Remember, in mathematics, when something's not there, there is something. So what's the starting point for this particular equation? You start at the origin, because it's zero. And from there, the rise is two, one, two. And run is positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam! Draw a line, and you have a positive slope going up from left to right. Number 6. Yeah, you don't see the x again, like number 3. So the slope is 0. So it's going to be a horizontal line. The person riding the ski is not going up or going down. It's just staying in a flat spot. Because the slope is 0. So you have a horizontal line. Where is that horizontal line going through on the y-axis? At the negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam! Not very exciting ski session, but there's your answer.
All right, those are the special ones. Good luck with those.